What's up YouTube? It's your boy, The Crow Show. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we won this trial getting a 4 out versus a killer who tried to turbo tunnel the ace out of the game. Now this should be a short video because it's mostly just me sitting on a generator, but I'll show you some key moments and what I had in mind while we were playing this trial. And for what it's worth, here's Ace's perks. He had dead hard resilience, hope and unbreakable. And the doctor's perks were save the best for last, lightborn, even though none of us had a flashlight in the lobby, agitation and iron grasp. Now these are not very good tunneling perks and I'll talk about why throughout this video. Now in a lot of ways, the first chase can be the most important chase in any trial in Dead by Daylight. This doctor clearly chased the ace for way too long and it looks like Laura got in the way, was maybe body blocking there and during this first chase, we ripped through two generators while doctors only landed one hit on ace so far. And by the time he goes down, we're halfway through this generator in the main building. Now I was hoping we could stick it, but he did come back to the generator and there's no telling what kind of perks he had at this point in the trial. This was my first time seeing Doctor up close. But a couple of perks he should probably consider if he wants to tunnel and buy a bit of time. Deadlock is one of the best tunnel perks for a killer. It just ensures that survivors can't just gen rush the way we do here. Pop Goes the Weasel is also pretty decent. It can be really tough for Doctor because he's not super mobile, but if you can get any kind of gen regression going, uh, that can slow the trial down enough for you to tunnel out that first person you're chasing. So there you go, Laura goes down and Ace is still being chased. Doctor should probably just put Laura on a hook, but he keeps chasing Ace. Now Laura gets picked up here momentarily and then Ace actually lands what I believe is his dead hard. You see him go into deep wounds there. So Doctor landed a hit on him, but he used dead hard to extend the chase and still stay in the fight. It's a pretty strong anti-tunnel perk. Now by the time Ace goes down here in just a moment, there you go. This generator is about what, 35-40% complete and Meg is there distracting Ace gets picked up, and this gen, it's roughly halfway finished by the time he gets his second hook. So he's in a world of trouble, this Doctor. And he puts Ace in the basement, and Doctor is not a very good basement defender. Doctor is actually not a very good tunneler either, just because he's strictly an M1 killer. And sure, he can lock down loops pretty well, and cut people off from pallets and windows, but you have to be a fairly good doctor, and I believe this guy might have been a little bit of a novice with doctor. Now, one thing to keep in mind, uh, for every hook state, you have 70 seconds now. That was a change made recently. I believe the person did grab Ace off the hook just a little bit too early. You can wait a little bit longer, and what that does is it allows all of the other survivors to stay super active on generators, just advancing the objective, but we already spoiled that we do four out here. Um, so in this case, it didn't actually matter, but that person could have waited longer to grab Ace off the hook. All right, so I got my gen fix. I saw that one person was slugged and I saw Ace was still being chased because of the heads up display. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to go in and take some hits for Ace. Nothing like a nice loop with friends scenario. That's a bit of a dumb tech, it's an FOV tech. You just, after they break the pallet, you just run right to their chest, run back, and you can dodge that pretty easily. And up here, my main goal is just to get to this pallet and just drop it, that wastes a lot of time for him. And the guy is very pallet happy, he's very happy to break the pallets. So last gen pops, all four people are still up, Ace is still being chased, he's dead on hook. I got an opportunity to snap out of it and also heal myself with my trusty little med kit there while I stood next to an exit gate that was being opened. And then I just find the ace and there he is being chased and I can easily take protection hits if need be. Ace is not in a lot of danger here, as you can tell. There we go, I take a hit and it's time for me to get out of the way. Doctor is a little bit lost and it's an easy four out. Are the teabags necessary? No, not really. 
Uh, but I think that in this case, the doctor, who knows what happened, what led to these series of events. But I think if he used deadlock and maybe some form of gen regression, like Pop Goes the Weasel or something like that, it might have bought him a bit more time, might have been able to secure the 1K. I know this video might not be super exciting because any veteran will be like, well, yeah, you just stay on the gens and that's it. But that's really how you beat somebody trying to tunnel the first person they put on hook. Just stay on gens. And if that person being tunneled is a very good runner, this ace was a very, very good runner. Um, the killer is at a very significant disadvantage. So if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I do enjoy analyzing Dead by Daylight and just providing examples of whenever I see a learning opportunity. I think in the next video, I'm going to be focusing on people who leave early and maybe calling some attention to them and kind of analyzing why they left and why they're little diaper babies. Could be interesting. We'll see. But I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.